Okay, back to our financial model again. This is the model of the financial system. What we're going to do today, right now, is talk about where different classes lie. If you were in an investments class, you would spend most of your time here looking at investors. They have excess money. What do they want to invest in? What pieces of paper do they want to buy? Do they want to buy a fixed income investment? Do they want to buy equity? Which is riskier, etc. If you were in financial institutions, financial institutions and markets, or money and banking class, commercial bank management, etc., you were dealing with financial intermediaries. You were looking at how those classes, I'm sorry, how those companies run, how you manage those, how you deal with their risks. In our class currently, we are in a corporate finance class. So what we are going to be doing is looking at how deficit spending units raise money, and then their decision on whether to reinvest at the firm or to give money back to the investors. More specifically, corporate finance deals with three main topics. We deal with capital budgeting. This is the question, what assets do we want? Valuation, how much are those assets worth? And capital structure, how do we pay for them? In accounting format, what we're looking at, capital budgeting and valuation, is looking at the asset side of the balance sheet. What assets do we want on this balance sheet? Capital structure is the question, how do we pay for it? Do we pay for it with debt or do we pay for it with equity? I think you will see that all of this comes together. When we sell a piece of paper, are we selling debt or are we selling equity? It comes to be a capital structure question. Again, this is another, rec another, uh, another example of why holistic finance is needed. You can't just focus on one area. It all comes together very, very nicely in corporate finance. And we'll talk more about that in, as the series of videos continues.